Hi, Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. It is Korea. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. This will be a reading to see where twin flame connections are. I wanted to give an update to see where twin flame connections are at in this present moment that you click on the video. If you have clicked on this specific video, it is no coincidence. It is for you. So keep on watching. What inspired me to do this reading is I have been getting, seeing so many different things on Twin Flame this, Twin Flame that, I met my Twin Flame, my Twin Flame this, and to be quite honest with you, a lot of these people are not with their Twin Flames. It is a very small percentage of people who are with their Twin Souls, but that's neither here nor there. Um... But I wanted to do this video because I really do feel like a lot of twin flames are getting ready to uh, come into union. So I wanted to see um, where the connections is at. And we're going to start off with seeing where the Divine Feminine is at in her journey. We have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is a little bit more immature. So it looks like the Divine Feminines, we are coming into uh, our own is what I hear. But we still have a lot of growing to do, especially um, emotionally and um, and with relationships. I feel the Divine Feminines, we are interested in love at this time. We feel we are ready, but... Um, emotionally, we are not. There is a lot of things that we have to sift through. Um, there could be times where uh, we feel a little down, a little blue, uh, but we always seem to bounce back and come into uh, more happier spirits. Um, I also feel the Divine Feminine is in an energy where she is learning. She is learning and she is exploring here. And she's also getting a lot of intuitive messages, talking to her uh, her ancestors, her guides here. Um, there's also something about bathrooms here. So I don't know, that could be important for you. Um, <clears throat> divine baths and things like that. Okay, let's see what else. We also have the Empress. How beautiful is that? If there is one card that represents the Divine Feminine in the Tarot, it is the Empress. We are feeling luxurious. We are feeling relaxed and at ease. I also feel this very strong sexual vibe from the Divine Feminine. We are coming into our power, ladies. <laughs> we are coming into our power. And it looks like the Divine Feminine who is watching this video went through a period of of darker times, of blue times, of, of depression, but the sun is coming out from behind that cloud and things are going to start to feel more illuminated, to start to feel more uh, beautiful and grand and luxurious. I also see lots of abundance coming in for the Divine Feminine as well, but we are in a mode where we are sure of ourselves. Okay, We are sure of ourselves and we are sure of our power. And I'm telling you, the Divine Feminine's intuition is off the charts right now. Um, but there is a specific goal that Divine Feminines have in mind right now when it comes to her masculine. And she is envisioning that and she will get that because she is manifesting that for herself. And she's in a, in a good positive uh, place. Yes, we have the full... We have new beginnings here. Some of you will be traveling to meet uh, a, a, the Divine Feminine um, that is connected to you. I also see um, a lot of you will be moving di to different states. Moving and this is how you will meet your Divine Feminines. But look again, that sun is coming up from behind those great clouds. I feel like with a lot of you, when you move you will be in uh, better spirits. If you know anything about astrology, you know that there is something called astro cartography, um, where you can look at an astrology um, map and it'll tell you places that is good for you based on your specific natal chart. 
So I feel like with you, um, there is going to be a place that you move to that's going to be more aligned with who you are and your spirit. And a lot of you have been feeling this, um, this move intuitively. Um, some of you guys are moving to like the West Coast deserts, um, like Las Vegas or Arizona, California, that sort of place. Some of you will be even moving cross country when, um, things open back up, um, but yes, I see y'all in y'all's bag, Divine Feminine. Like, Divine Feminines, y'all are waking up. I mean, y'all have been woke, but y'all have been waking up to your manifesting powers. And you are bringing in a lot of abundance for yourself. And when I say y'all are in y'all's bag, I mean, y'all will be able to afford things that you have never been able to afford before. And it's like, Divine Feminines have this foresight that the masculine um doesn't have and that's the power of the divine feminine that intuition honey and when you have intuition you have excellent excellent manifesting uh skills all right so let's see where the divine feminine is i'm sorry the divine masculine is at <clears throat> excuse me we have the eight of cups so with the divine masculines um they're coming into their power more slowly than the divine feminines are but I feel in past lives with the, the, the masculines, they were great leaders. Um, I also see the divine masculine. He is also in his head. He's thinking a lot. He's a deep thinker. And it's like the group that he's connected to, he's just not feeling it anymore. He doesn't feel that he belongs. And he feels like he has a greater purpose, which he does. He has a greater purpose in... He's feeling emotionally drawn away from who he's connecting to right now. This could be a job. This could be school. This could be his family. It's going to be different for every divine masculine. Um, but he's going to be called to greatness. He's going to be called to uh, be a leader. This is the whole thing about the twin flame journey is that they are going to be called to be um, leaders and to wake and shake other people up for spiritual development and for spiritual awakening. Okay. Divine masculines also have the moon. Wow. Beautiful. So I feel with the masculines, they are coming into their own intuition. They are having dreams. They are visiting you in the astral realm. And I feel like with a lot of masculines, they don't really know what's going on, what all this means, what actual projection is, but they're doing it and it's so weird and their intuition is telling them crazy things. Synchronicities is off the charts and I feel like this confusion, because the moon card does represent confusion, um, I feel like the, the feminine is speaking to him through his intuition and it's like, is bringing out some strong, deep urges within him. Is ish? I feel like he's doing a lot of shadow work as well. He's really looking within himself, seeing things that are hidden within his subconscious that is still affecting him consciously. Okay, that's what I got for the masculine with the moon card. Masculines also have. The Queen of Pentacles. Well, I'm telling you, the ma the feminine is in her bag. And, and intuitively, the masculine is picking up on that. That she is in her bag. That she is creating this wonderful life for herself. And she's, um, she's gaining the fruits of her labor here. And so much abundance uh, for the feminine. Like, it's off the charts. It's wild and it's crazy. But... A lot of feminines are creating their own businesses. They're working for themselves. When you wake up, honey, you do not want to work for nobody else. You don't want to have no boss. You don't want to work for no company making their dreams come true. You want to make your own dreams come true. All right. And that's where feminism is at. And masculines is picking up that his feminine is strong and she can hold things down on her own. And this is a part of the attraction that she's just not this woman who wants to be taken care of. That she is not one of those um, those types who was like a city girl where you got to pay all my bills. Which is which is cool, feminines. You know, I want a man who can help me with the bills, but I'm not expecting for him to be my father. Alright? Maybe in the bedroom. <laughs> he can be my daddy, but not in the real sense. 
as a twin flame, as a as a connection, even if you're a soulmate or a karmic, you want to be in a partnership where things is of is of equal give and take. And this natural feminine, she is going to be a strong asset. Your woman or your man should be a strong asset, not the main, not the main course of what's happening in the relationship. He loves how the feminine is natural, how she's sweet and down to earth, very rooted, but also very intuitive. Um, a lot of y'all have been seeing yellow flowers. Um, I've been seeing sunflowers like crazy. And for me, that's a sign that abundance and happiness and more joy is coming in. Also that sunflowers represent knowledge and all of knowledge is coming in. Um, but that's what I have for the masking. Let's see where your, your connection is at together. Come on. I mean, for real, the best card in the deck as far as love and relationships, the Ten of Cups. Wow. So together, this is a very beautiful, happy union. It fills you completely up emotionally. You guys are satisfied in this connection. Whether you have met or not, you guys are still connected in this. Spirit. Okay, I don't know where I left off. Um, I had to go get my daughter. Uh, but anywho, Ten of Cups represents just total emotional satisfaction with each other. I also see that a lot of you guys will be having a baby with your twin soul, bringing families together. I feel like a lot of the feminines have a child already and the divine masculines have a child and a pet. That's what I've been picking up on. I also feel that this will be divinely guided by the the spiritual team in your lives, your ancestors, your angels, your guys, they are bringing you to together for a purpose. And look at that flame. I mean, you're coming together to light things up, to be a light in the world. Okay. When things are dark, twin flames are here to shine. We got the full card together. The feminines have the full card. And you guys have the full card together, which is excellent. Just the the new beginnings that is happening with the divine feminine and the divine masculine is amazing. But I want to say, do not get kicked off your path. And don't be uh, so excited that you're not paying attention because you can be knocked off course because of the excitement. Life is sweet. Life is grand uh, between you. And um, you could get knocked off your course. And there is a specific path that is meant for the both of you. Um, <clears throat> but yes, new energy, new beginnings is coming in for the both of you together. Okay. We also have the Queen of Wands. So I feel like the divine feminines, I mean, look, she popped up here over in the masculine. She's popping up uh, here as a queen. The divine feminines, you have a very important role. A lot of emphasis usually goes to the man in the relationship as him being the leader. But I'm picking up that the woman is the, the leader um, here. And look at, what did I say about the sunflowers? You guys are seeing sunflowers. And, um... It's something about pets. Somebody has a pet. But the sunflowers and the abundance that is coming in for uh, Twin Flames is crazy. Uh, let me not say crazy. <laughs> it's amazing. Let me say the abundance flowing in for you is amazing. Uh, and I want to say that the Divine Feminines in these relationships, uh, it's like your soul is a lot more... Um, What's the word I want to say? It's a lot more evolved than the masculine. And I feel like you uh, will be here to help upgrade him um, in this lifetime. And some of you have past lives in Egypt together. Um, that could be an importance if you are seeing anything uh, with Egypt. That is your uh, past soul calling, especially if anything resonates with you on a personal level today. Uh a lot of you are Leos. A lot, um, I see Aries. 
Make sure I'm not missing anything. Pisces, Cancer. All right, these don't have to be your sun sign. These can be in your natal chart. Um, but a lot of people like to hear the signs. Uh, but yes, I feel like right now you guys are coming into that solar plexus energy where you are more assured of yourself. You're gaining in wisdom and you're gaining in knowledge. Okay. Let me see what else I get. And I just feel like this, this sense of maturity with the, the feminine and uh, the masculine, he is the type that goes with the flow. He is, um, he's energetic. I feel like he is very sexual and likes to have fun, very creative. The feminine is creative as well, but she's more serious, all right? I feel like the masculine will help to bring the feminine out of being so serious. All right, let's get some angel message cards. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And you see the angel right there praying with the divine feminine. Um, you know, pray to your gods. Pray to your angels. Tell them what you want, who you want, that you want to be brought together with your twin flame if, if that's what you desire. Make affirmations. Say things like, I love myself and I am loved greatly. I am with my twin flame and we are abundant. Visualize. Visualize yourselves together. Visualize, visualize your lives together. What your homes look like. What your relationship is like. What your kids are doing. What jobs you're doing. Okay? And these things will help to bring you together faster than not doing those things. Your angels want you to know that you need to let go of control issues. Things need to unfold how they're supposed to unfold. Like with the uh, the full card where I said things, you have a specific path, all right? You can't control the path that is already destined, all right? So let go of those control issues. Let things just happen naturally. Go by on your day-to-day, -day, not expecting anything but greatness because... Uh, God is not going to steer you off of a great path if you let go. Once you try to, once you start to try to control things, that's when things usually try to go awry. Let go of some of that control, and I feel like the, a lot of the control issues are stemming from things that happened in your past, whether it be from childhood or a past relationship. Okay, but your angels are right there with you guys. And you see how the Divine Masculine has that map? I'm telling you, a lot of y'all are going to be meeting um, each other while traveling or moving to a distant uh, place, distant land. And uh, this Masculine here, he could be... Um, I'm hearing royalty. Uh, some, of, some people is of royalty or high status. Um, the feminine, she is not of that rank. She is more of a um, regular person. But I'm telling you, she's going to be in her bag. Um, but he has a high rank. He's some sort of a, of official. Like with here, where I say he's going to be called to leadership, called to greatness here. Uh, yeah, and I feel like with the feminines, it's like she ain't going to be really worried about no masculine. She ain't really worried about no man. She's really thinking about her child and her future. And he's interested. The masculine is interested. He's He finds her interesting. He finds her attractive. And he wants to get to know her. The masculine here, he's well read. He likes to read. He is knowledgeable. Okay, he, I'm hearing he may speak another language. Uh, he could be from a different background, different culture, different race, different religion than um, the feminine. Okay. Let your friends help you. Ask for and, and accept support from others. Um, some of you guys will be traveling with friends or very close acquaintances and they'll help bring you two um, together. Uh, you could be meeting through friends or meeting while out with friends and they'll kind of see like, you know what, these two would be great for each other. I'm also seeing a wedding in the future. Weddings, um, I still see that pregnancy happening. For a lot of you, this will be after you get married. A lot of you will be having two children, at least a boy. <clears throat> Some of you girls, but most of you guys, it's a boy. 
Um, and a lot of the feminists, y'all already have a girl. Uh, yeah, but it's a religious overtone to this as well. Something about religion and spirituality um, with you two together. All right. All right. Before I get into these cards, it is a warning. I'm about to use the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So if sex offends you, which I hope it doesn't, because <laughs> it's very natural and it's a wonderful thing. But click off if you don't want to see any nudity or anything like that, any sexual talk, because that could come up. But I wanted to see um, what we get because I don't know for y'all, but for me, my masculine, honey, he be visiting me <laughs> in the spiritual. He be wanting me and I be wanting him too in the spiritual. We be doing some things and I want to see what we be doing. <laughs> so uh, we have the strength card. So um, <laughs> the feminine, y'all are wild. Y'all got a wild side. And uh, y'all want to tame this masculine. He's wild too. He is wild and I feel like he's very earthy. All right. He has no, uh, he has less control. <laughs> and it's like, look at y'all too. He's strong. You're strong. And um, with the strength card, it represents Leo as well. So I'm getting Leo again. So somebody could be famous or well known, have a lot of followers on social media. Um, but yeah, I'm just seeing the feminine here trying to uh, control the beast. And what did we already say here? Let go of control issues, feminine. So it looks like the feminine is the one that's trying to control everything. <laughs> Let go of that. We have the knave or the knight of pentacles. Look at the masculine. <laughs> Look at his eyes being sneaky. He's going to try to, uh, he's going to try to give you a drink. I don't see nothing like spiking your drink or giving you drugs. I don't drinks, but he wants to just loosen you up a little bit. Cause I'm hearing, I'm in his mind. He's like, I want her to get nasty and just be free and to be herself he wants you touching on yourself and he wants you to enjoy yourself and to feel good he would enjoy you wearing lingerie something sexy for him and his eyes only somebody could be practicing candle magic but i see a little bit of romance here but a lot of you know let's get drunk and get it popping as well like he wants to blow your back out this masculine he wants to <laughs> he wants to blow your back out and he wants to give it to you so hard that you're coming all over him over and over and over again that is what i'm getting from him it's like you would think he is more laid back quiet and to himself but this masculine he is sensual he is sexy and i don't like saying nasty because nasty when you look up the definition is um it's not something that I would want from sex. Um, he's just, he's a freak. Let me say that. The masculine is a freak. Okay. <laughs> we also have the nine of wands. So he's not only interested in the feminine sexually, of course, because he is your twin. So he wants to be friends with you. He wants to get to know you. You both want to get to know each other. And I've been picking up a lot that the masculines could be working with the land. Somehow working with the land, um, working with farms, animals. You guys could come together, create a farm or own property together, own animals together, farming, creating your own gardens, growing your own food, building your own things. Um, but yeah, he's going to like to play with you <laughs> down there. My daughter is somewhere creeping, so I can't get too explicit but y'all know what i mean especially if you are grown um but this is a very earthly and down to earth masculine but he has that fiery and passionate side as well very intelligent very good at communicating wants to know your innermost thoughts and your desires he wants to get to know you from your past and i he is not judgmental he is not a judgmental masculine and the feminine really enjoys that somebody wants to get to know her not only sexually, but to get to her, know her personality as well. She just finds this so attractive and so sexy. And you guys are really close. 
together really close and um yeah that is what i'm getting for the twin flames i mean what a beautiful reading i feel like with the the two full cards and the energy that I'm picking up energetically, this is just the beginning. I mean, a lot of us have been on this twin flame journey um, for years <laughs> and never meeting our twin flame and never coming into union. But something, something about 2020, something about the now, it's like, it's just the beginning and things will start to move. All right. And things will start to flow and things will start to be in alignment. All right, so Twin Flames, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what's going on in your Twin Flame journey. I don't hear a lot from other true Twin Flames and I would love to hear your experiences. And uh, follow me on my social medias. All that information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon.